Hello and welcome to this video for WP Fusion. And what we're going to talk about in this video is how to set up WP Fusion after you've purchased and installed it onto your website. So the first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to the settings tab and down here you'll see WP Fusion. We've done this for a reason, we didn't want it to intrude on the main navbar, so we've kept it hidden within settings and by clicking there, you'll be presented with this screen. It'll ask you to first select your CRM system. At the moment, we have both Infusionsoft and ActiveCampaign, but more will be added as they are requested. We would also then need to add in our application name and also our API key. We'll need to also go ahead here and enter in our license key and activate the license. So first thing I'm gonna do is just add in the API key. and I'm gonna test the connection. This will then sync all of the data from Infusionsoft across to WordPress. And once I'm happy with that, I can just simply click on Save Changes. That's then gonna open up for the rest of the settings that are available within WP Fusion. Remember at this point, you need to go back to Setup and enter in your license key and then activate the account. Once we've done that, the first screen we'll see here is the general settings. And here, the first thing that we can do is create new users. So by ticking this box, what will happen is when a new user is added to WordPress, we can choose to send them across to our CRM system. We can choose on which role within WordPress gets sent across, and also any tags that are applied when they are created. We can do what is called a push, where we synchronize the data, which means that everything within WordPress is then pushed to the CRM so that it matches. And we can also do what is called an API call. We can also restrict page access. And what this means is that if we hide the restricted content, if they do not have the tag for the relevant content that we have restricted, they will not get access. It will actually be removed from the WordPress menu. Also, we can exclude administrators if you're an admin and you're editing your site. Maybe you want to be able to see everything. We can do a default redirect and we can also do a restricted content message. Finally, we want to do a post where we can post information from Infusionsoft into WordPress. So if you're in a campaign, for example, and something happens in that campaign and you want to push a new tag or some new data across to WordPress, then this is the access key that we would use to do that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you now what that means in the campaign builder. So the first thing we're going to need to do here to create the HTTP post is we're gonna to to copy our access key. From here, we're gonna come across to our CRM. In this case, we're gonna use uh, Infusionsoft. And within a sequence, and I'm just gonna open a new one here as a test. We'll open up this sequence. We'll come down to process. And we need to look at the bottom where it says send HTTP post. Here, if we open this, it's gonna give us some options. The first thing it's going to ask is for a post URL. It's then gonna give us some values and we need to have three values in total. And in the last value, I'm just gonna post in our access key. And we need to call this access underscore key. The top one will be contact ID equals, and then we have our contact ID, and the middle one will be action equals, and we're gonna update. So that's what we need to do. Now, with regards to what needs to be put above this in the post URL, you can get this from the documents that are available on the WP Fusion website. We simply just need to replace the information here with what our website name is. In my instance, it's going to be and it's forward slash WP hyphen content forward slash plugins forward slash WP hyphen fusion forward slash WPF underscore post dot PHP. What will happen then is at this point, it will post here and it will say contact ID update with this access key. That is all that we need to do. At this point, we go back to the sequence. We make sure that this is now pushed to live and ready. 
back to the campaign and we can publish. What now happens is that during this point in the sequence, that will be updated. So anything that happens before this, for example, in the process, we may want to apply a tag. And so what I may want to do here is apply a new tag. And once that tag has been applied, then we may want to push that tag to WordPress. That is how we would do it. Another thing we can do is to create a new user. To do that, what we would simply do, I'm going to come out here and just create a new sequence to show you. Here, we will do the same process where we'll go to a HTTP post. So at this point, we, won't, we may want to create a new user on WordPress. So again, we open up, we use the same post URL. Just make sure to change this for your website. The contact ID is the same. However, the second field where we asked for the action will now be to add. The third one, which was the same before, was access underscore key. We'll put in whatever our access key is. And there are two new options, which we can leave out if we don't need them. But what we can do is say send underscore notification and we can set that to be true. And we can also choose the role. And the role in this case, I'm going to use as a subscriber. So these are all of the fields that we can put in here. By doing this, again, making sure that it is ready and that we've added our access key, making sure that it is ready again here, coming back. Now, anybody within this sequence, when they're in the sequence, they will have a new account created within WordPress. And if we've set up to send them a notification, they will get a notification. So we can automatically create them account based on their name that they have here, and we can create them a password. So they are the two things that we will need here to create a HTTP post. And now if we go back to WordPress, we can carry on with the rest of the settings, remembering to save your changes once you're happy. The next thing across the top here we have is contact fields. And what this does is it syncs the data from WordPress to our CRM. In this instance, we can see that nickname has a meta field of nickname. In Fusionsoft, we can actually search for the field if it hasn't found it already. Once we have that, we can put that in and we can choose we want to sync that information. We can do that for everything here. So if we have one that we want to create, we can do that and we can put it in here. If one doesn't exist and we type it in, it'll actually ask us if we want to resync. We can do that if something doesn't exist, if it doesn't find that way. What it will do is it will resync to our CRM system and pull all of the data across. So here, if this doesn't exist, what we will first need to do is obviously go into Infusionsoft and create the custom field. Anything that's here that you can see that exists, we can literally sync this across so that it exists between the two platforms. And once we're done and we're happy, we simply just click Save Changes. Integrations. If we have any third party integrations, there will be additional options which are set here for either Ultimate Member, WooCommerce, Advanced Custom Fields, User Pro. There are so many third party plugins that we work with. LearnDash is another fantastic one that this is where the integrations for those third party plugins will be if they are installed and activated. Finally, we can import users. So we can import users, we can select a tag to add to them, a level, and then we can choose where we want to select, send a welcome email, click import, and it will send all of the CRM contacts as new WordPress users. Okay, and any fields that have been configured on the contact fields tab will also be imported. And that's what we can do in terms of the basic settings and setting up WP Fusion.